You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. Temperatures are finally starting to cool down. Here's a live look over Tehama County from the Alert California Bald Rock camera. Yeah, Chief Meteorologist Howie Gordon is tracking conditions for us, and we're starting to feel much more fall-like out there. I'm really looking forward to a weekend where I can get some stuff done outside and, you know, not feel like, oh, it's just too hot. Right. Let's head back into the air conditioning. Took three weeks or three weekends later yeah. in, in fall. Now, yes, yeah, I finally is arriving here, cooling down, a little bit of rain, so a fall feel as we again, you know, it's three weeks, less than three weeks out from Halloween. And three days ago, we were still in the 100s, or I think maybe two days ago. Okay, so air quality about three hours ago, very dangerous in the vicinity of the shoe fire with air quality index numbers of 300 or higher to give you a little uh, measurement, zero to 50 in the green, that is good air. So the winds, the low pressure allowed everything to get set free and disperse. So now air quality returning pretty good, pretty well. We just want to eliminate the source and that's the shoe fire that hopefully we can start getting under control as mother nature starts to allow us to do so. Mostly cloudy and breezy for tonight, much cooler with rain chances, but actually we are gonna warm up again, but don't worry, we're not headed back into the 100s. Here's what we have overnight, mid to upper 50s for the valley, Staying put for the most part. So over there in the Sierra, the Cascade, the foothills, a little cooler. We stay closer to 50 over in the coastal range where most of that rain's coming. That water is going to hold on to the heat a little bit more. Now, again, I said this last time. These are, the, these are highs. This is not a misprint. Those are high temperatures for tomorrow. That was, those were our lows for many, many, many weeks. But now we're dropping down as cooler air plunges in from Alaskan origins. Higher ups. Temperatures topping out in the 60s. As Haley was saying, good, good, good time to go out there and do some hiking or get outside. Nice and cool and comfy. So here's the storms coming away. Look at this first blast of storms, all that moisture, but a lot of it's going to be grabbed by the North Mountains and the coastal range, taking most of that rain and then really just lightly getting dispersed maybe in the valley and other locations. I'm looking at less than a quarter of an inch potentially in the valley and maybe a little bit higher up in the mountains. But overall, more than anything, I've been saying it, these storms are going to be a temperature dropper and really not a rainmaker. Here's what we have, though. High pressure is going to start to move in after these storms move off, and we're going to start to warm up again. Here are, here's a look at our first true weekend of fall, if you will. Rain chances in the 70s, but then we do warm up. But there are more storms from Alaskan origins dropping down by the middle of the week. So just when you think it's going to warm up again, Fall lets us know it's finally starting to at least stick around or stay around for longer than just a couple days. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Thanks, Howie.